Hey everybody, Dave Corson, March 29th, Friday, 2024. Just got done uh, with uh, about three quarters of my run here. Sweating, layered up here, and uh, sweating like a dog. And uh, wanted to get this video done before the sun goes behind the trees and it's not too dark. Oh, sun feels really good on you. Anyway. Happy Good Friday to everybody out there at celebrating. And uh, if your office was closed, good for you. Hopefully you had a nice, uh, you know, good day off going for a long weekend. Rest, relaxation after a long week of getting things done, accomplished with a smile on your face, that winning attitude. Here, I'm going to take my glasses off because I'm in the shade. Got my bean, pad, bean pot hat on. For those of you who don't know what, it's a big uh, hockey tournament. It's up in Boston every year. Harvard, Northeastern, Boston University in B.C. Anyway, uh, one of my clients, uh, Commonwealth Building, Frank Trainer, and um, he invited me up, and I uh, he had a he had a box in uh, the Boston Garden, and uh, unbelievable atmosphere. You know, all the schools, the band, they're all good teams. You know who walked in there? Mike Ruzioni. If you don't know who Mike Ruzioni is, play for play for Boston University Terriers hockey. Anyway, he was captain of the 1980. Olympic hockey team that beat the uh, mighty Russian army team in the semifinals in Lake Placid. And then they went on to beat Finland for the gold medal. And uh, I met him, shook his hand, and I played on the Lake Placid uh, rink a couple weeks before the Olympics. We uh, chartered a bus and went up with Princeton Day School and we played uh, Lake Placid High School and uh, Northwood School, which is one of the top prep school hockey programs in the country. And uh, it, it was an amazing feat playing on that Olympic sheet of ice in that arena. Really, really cold up there. But uh, just uh, uh, something I'll never, ever forget. And But that's what this is, the bean pot. That's my bean pot hat on. And uh, anyway, uh, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a great weekend. You know, I, were, I, had, I worked all day. Last night, my, 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 I have four rescue dogs. And my one little dog, he's a little terrier. Shih Tzu. I don't know. He's, got, he's, he's just a mutt. Anyway, someone beat him up. And they threw him into a manhole. And my wife, you know, she's a rescuer. We brought him home. And uh, never had a little dog. We always had big dogs. Anyway, uh, the first night, she woke up and said, Oh, I think he's, he's passed. And I poked him. He's still pretty. Ah, you no. Know. He's okay. We brought him back to life, and I said, you know what? We're, we're, we're adopting this dog. I'm not giving him up. He's my buddy. He sits in my office all day. He's got a little bed with me. He'll take on a Doberman, a Rottweiler. I mean, he's only, he's a little, little dog. Anyway, about three or four o'clock this morning, couldn't stand up. Thought he had vertigo. And uh, we were up uh, all night with him. And uh, then uh, we, we got, you know, got him back up uh, and laid him on his bed. And, and uh, he woke up and he was as good as new. I thought I was going to the vet all day. But got up, worked all day. I'm improving. I'm getting things done. Had a couple conference calls, watching the first round. And actually, I just was leaving when Michigan State was playing Western Michigan. I think it was tied 1-1. And uh, the early game was uh, uh, Michigan Tech against, uh, no, it was Boston College. That's who it was. Too many Boston teams in there. Anyway. Boston College just put it on them. On the, it was tied 1-1, and then in the third, they ran away with it. And that's the way hockey goes sometimes. But uh, those are two unbelievable teams. BUBC, they're ranked. You know, DU's ranked number three, but they got a bunch of pro players, NHLers. You know, we've got a handful of them. They're all unbelievable teams. Very, very tough to knock off. Won't be surprised if one of those teams ends up into the, in, the, in the finals. But anything can happen. You know, you got the positive mindset. You got that winning attitude. I'm, I'm not giving up. Someone might knock them off. Same thing with DU. We went into two overtimes yesterday. And now uh, tomorrow they got to uh, play Cornell, who knocked them out of the, out of the first round last year. 3 nothing. Time for some payback. And payback is a motivating thing. Revenge. Call it what you want. It's stimulating. You know? They could, they could go, and, oh, I played an extra two-thirds of a game and I can't get it done. Well, you know what? You're only, you know what? You got to win four games to hoist it. This is game number two. Let's get that W and get in, and let, go to the final four. And uh, in two weekends from now, they win tomorrow and uh, get it done. Bring that trophy and the hardware home for uh, Magnus Arena in the trophy case. 
Tomorrow? God, all weekend, got so much going on. You got, uh, you got March Madness, Men's and Women's. You got ice hockey going on the Frozen Four. Uh, you got lacrosse like tomorrow, my day. Hopefully tomorrow I'm, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to hike down early and show you what the Buford Dam looks like. So for all you construction guys down there, uh, you'll, uh, you'll see what the dam looks like all the way down by the river where the sluice are. And uh, it's an unbelievable project. And it's not the Hoover Dam, but it's a pretty darn impressive uh, construction project. So if I can't do it, I'll do it on, on uh, Sunday. But if I get up and I'll, I'll get it done. Uh, DU Lax is playing Villanova on the road. That game starts at noon. And then uh, the DU Ice Hockey game against Cornell starts at 4. And I got a surprise birthday party I got to go to, too. Show, up, show my face for uh, one of my buds who's a sergeant on the uh, Gwinnett County uh, Police Force. And uh, his wife's uh, turning 55, and uh, they've been our friends for a long, long time. And uh, we got to show your face, you know, and show your respect for your friends. When you say you're going to show up, you got to show up. So for all you out there uh, that are celebrating Good Friday, I hope, I hope it was good for you. And uh, have a great rest of the weekend. Spend time with family and friends. If you got kids, do the Easter egg roll and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm just a nice Jewish boy reading the, the Bible. I just got, I've been through the book of Psalms. I read, a, you know, a couple pages each day and other things, you know, religious. But another thing I like to do list this year is finish the Bible. I've never finished it. I haven't even gotten to where Jesus has been born. You know, Mary gave birth in, in Bethlehem. So I haven't even gotten to there yet. But I'm doing my part. And uh, that was one of, my, one of my things on my to-do list this year that... Uh, I want to get done. I want to finish the Bible before the end of the year. So I'm rolling. Just like I'm out here. I told you, 365. I'm going to be out here doing these videos during my run. The end of my run, the beginning of my run, whatever, whatever I decide that I want to do it. And uh, and uh, give you my little positive, what, what I did today. It's, you know, kind of my rundown. You know, I'm regurgitating everything that I uh, got accomplished. Uh, it's a bit, you know, you know, it's the end of Q1. The stats are in the books. The scoreboard is done. Sunday, it's the end, and Monday, you start Q2. April, April 1st, April Fool's Day. No fooling. No pun intended. But anyway, with that, I'm going to leave you with this positive thought. If you don't know something, ask. Then you'll know, and you'll know where you stand. Let me repeat that. If you don't know, you don't know the answer to the question, don't BS people. Ask, or tell them you'll get back to them, you'll, you'll do some research and find out, and then you'll know. All right? And, uh, you know, it could help your construction project. It could help your, your relationship. You know, knowledge is power. And uh, it, it's, it, you know, just be honest with people. If you don't know, ask. Tell them you don't know. And they might tell you the answer, or then you might have to go and find it out yourself and figure it out for yourself. You know, the day you stop learning is the day you should go do something else. And God knows I don't know it all. I learn something new every day. And, uh, and I can tell you, if I don't know, I ask. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that, that, that software program. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how much that the leech lines are going to cost on my septic tank on my build. Uh, I mean, I ask questions all day long. So, once again, if you don't know, ask. Then you'll know where you stand. You'll have an answer. And knowing where you are and you know, what your status is or where you are, it's just a very, very uh, convincing thing for your, your mind, your mindset, being positive and uh, just, uh, you know, keeping that journey and yourself moving forward. You might have to stop to do some research and figure out what that answer is, but there's nothing wrong with that. So, everybody, happy Good Friday to, all, all your, uh, to everybody that was off or you're going to Mass. Enjoy the weekend with family and friends. Do the Easter, roll, Easter egg. Uh, Sunday, have, eat some good food, relax, enjoy yourself, and get ready for, um, it's going to be a wild and crazy Q2. That's all I got to say. April, May, June, man, it's going to be a crazy time. Politically, life, I'm breaking ground. I mean, it's just going to be a wild, wild. I mean, every day is just going to be an adventure. So uh, tighten your seatbelt, and uh, it's going to be a roller coaster. Make sure you're nice and tight so you don't get... Uh, Throwing off the uh, coaster on the wild ride of life in Q2. Because I think it's going to be more, a really wild one. And I can't wait to take it on. You know? I'm ready for it. 
you know? So, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to go finish this uh, trek. And uh, I'll uh, either do uh, the dam uh, at the bottom of the dam by the river, Chattahoochee, either tomorrow or Sunday. But you'll see it. And uh, hopefully you'll chime in and you'll check it out, man. Because it's, it's an awesome thing to look at. So, I'm putting my shades back on. And uh, so the ponds doesn't get in my, uh, my eyes. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, wherever I might be. And everybody, I appreciate you chiming in and checking out what I have to say. And enjoy your evening. I will see you tomorrow. Cheers, ciao. And I'll see you later.